시장애가 있었나요? 네, 요 근래에 생겼거든요. 음. 9월부터 시작이 됐는데 여기 턱을 까딱까딱 거리는 거예요. 네. 그래요. 고개를 끄덕끄덕하네. 눈 느껴? 어떤가 비교? 편해졌어? 불편해졌어? 조금 편해? 어떤 면이 편해? 이제 자세가 꾸부정해지면 다시 더 심해져. 알았어, 여기? 이 자세를 꼭 앉아야 돼. 처음에 비하면 좋아진 건 있어, 없어? 있어. 뭐가 있어? 10점이 만점이라면 몇점 정도 좋아진 것 같아? 기분은 요즘 좋아 안 좋아? 전체적으로 아빠 보기 좀 좋아졌나 안 좋아졌나? 처음 오기 전보다는 고기 끄덕이는 횟수는 좀 많이 좋아진 것 같고요. 몸이 전체로 움직이는 좀 그런 증상이 조금씩 있어요. 계속 그러진 않은데 집에서 좀 누워있을 때라는 그런 느낌. 어땠어요? 고기 끄덕이는 거 별로 안 했는데 좀 다리 떠는 거 이제 또? 네. 전체적으로 좋은가 안 좋은가? 좋은 그동안 어땠어? 치료 받고 난 다음에 좀 좋아졌는데 화요일부터 좀 심해졌어요. 심하면 몇 점? 40점. 티근 괜찮아? 그냥 그 정도는 안 좋은 것 같아요. 티근 한몇점 정도 될까? 50. 50점이야? 네. 어땠어요? 저는 그냥 그대로 손을 떨어? 떨어봐. 어떻게 떨어? 그렇게 떨어? 어땠어? 그 정도로 좀더 좋아졌었어. 어떤 면이 좋아졌어? 고개 끄덕이는 거랑 코도 많이 좋아졌고. 그래서. 몇 점만 몇 점만? 몇 점만 좀 80점. 80점에서? 네. 어땠어? 좋았어. 어떻게 좋았어? 티끈 안 하는데. 몇 점? FCST is abbreviation of functional cerebral spinal therapy. It is treatment to control whole body's inyan balance through balancing TMJ. The purpose of balancing TMJ is upper cervical alignment, spinal alignment, nervous system stabilization, and natural healing of body. That is to say that FCST helps to open up the block channel that connects brain and body, realigning the spine, stabilizing nervous system. What factor causes misalignment of spinal structure? The answer is in C2, which is the one and only central axis of the spine. Then why is the C2 important? Human body has 24 vertebrae, which includes cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. Of all these vertebrae, there is only one vertebra with an axis, the C2. Our body is affected as axis C2 is distorted. When the axis C2 is distorted, the LS C1 is also immediately distorted, and the rest of the vertebrae in the spine will soon follow, as will the pelvis and cranial bones like in the domino effect. Consequently, it will lead to the cranial stratification and the restricted flow of cerebrospinal fluid. Then, there will be problems on the circulation and central nervous system. What factor causes misalignment of axis C2? The answer is imbalance of TMJ. Once the C2 are distorted due to the TMJ imbalance, the entire structure will follow and distort. And this will negatively impact on the brain-body communication through restriction of foramen magnum as well as restriction of jugular foramen, another opening in the base of the skull transmitting veins and arteries. 
When the TMJ disc space is normalized through TMJ balancing therapy, C2 is aligned as well as the size of foramen magnum is normalized. I've explained in what aspect I see the disease and its principles and concepts. I put everything in one diagram for the summary. For the better understanding, I rotated the horizontal diagram in the previous slide into the vertical diagram. The treatment applied to the higher rank can be the treatment in the lower rank. In the lower rank, more specific therapies are applied. I consider balancing TMJ as top priority factor to resolve structural problems. For the TMJ balance, I make use of intraoral devices as our main treatment. There are two types of intraoral devices used for balancing TMJ. CBA is Disposal Custom Made Intraoral Balancing Appliance, which allows balance of TMJ at the optimal freeway space to the individuals until deflection. The purpose of CBA is to align C2 at all times through balancing TMJ in relation to maxillary and bodily posture. TBA and OBA are intraoral devices for keeping TMJ balance stable after the use of CBA when deflection has occurred and keeping C2 in aligned position and stabilization of occlusion and mandible. I apply a wide range of therapies other than TMJ balancing therapy. These therapies are applied for structural alignment. There are upper cervical and spinal alignment technique, spine balancing therapy, craniosacral therapy, and disc decompression balancing therapy. There are other secondary therapies as well. Depending on individual's condition and need, I apply different types of secondary therapies like as acupuncture, cupping therapy, herbal medicine, counseling program, and rehabilitative exercise program. This chart shows the number of cases in my clinic from 2002 through 2013. I listed several diseases based on the highest ratio of patients.